What's up, Ibble fam? It's Sherry. What's up, guys? I'm Cliff. And we are here to bring you the top six daily news stories in under five minutes. So let's get to it. So, does a pandemic make us better with our money? Maybe. According to a recent Mass Mutual survey, about 22% of Americans saved some cash during the pandemic, at least $1,000 to be exact. I know I am not one of those 22% people, are you? Well, I mean, I definitely went to the bar less because they were closed. There you go, so you saw some savings. Adam Getz, the president of Mass Mutual Advisors Association, believes that expenses saved during the pandemic are mostly related to less travel, less weddings and vacations and things like that. It's playoff time in the bubble. The NBA playoffs kicked off yesterday yesterday from the bubble with first round action. The Mavericks and Clippers were highlighted by a bogus Kristaps Porzingis ejection, while the Jazz Nuggets match saw Donovan Mitchell drop 57 points. That's the third most all time in the playoffs, by the way. So who are you rooting for out there in Orlando? Well, Cliff, we're both Spurs fans, and unfortunately they didn't make it, but I think we can cheer it for yeah, Dallas. Represent. Mavericks all the way. So the action continues tonight, headlined by the Lakers versus the Blazers at 9 Eastern time. Are you catching that? Uh, I will in between games of Warzone, Call of Duty. You know. There you go, on Xbox. No. And will Smith and Kevin Hart are set to star in a remake of the classic Trains, Planes, and Automobiles. The John Hughes flick centers around two mismatched travelers on a cross-country road trip. Where was your last road trip taken? Oh, yeah, my buddies Mickey and Convict. We went up and down the West Coast back in 2004. It was great. Nice. Those are some interesting names. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Martin and John Candy starred in the original as two men trying to make it home for the Thanksgiving holiday when hilarity ensues. Well, they have big shoes to fill because the original is hilarious, but I love Kevin Hart. I think he's hilarious, so we'll see what happens. Oh, for sure. The original is classic, but uh, those two are going to do a great job. I'm super excited. On Monday, federal officials in conjunction with the New York City Police Department announced indictments for two men connected to the unsolved murder of Run DMC's Jason Mizell, also known as Jam Master J. Prosecutors identified the alleged suspects as Ronald Washington and Carl Jordan Jr. This has been a mystery for some time. Federal prosecutors allege the two men entered Jay's 24-7 studio in Jamaica, Queens in search of 20 kilograms of cocaine they intended to distribute in Maryland. Jordan and Washington were each charged with murder while engaged in narcotics trafficking, and Jordan faces several additional distribution counts. Well, hopefully they are brought to justice. But what is your favorite Run DMC song? Uh, I know what yours is, but mine's definitely the Christmas one. Christmas one's good, but it's tricky. Come on. You when that wanna, song goes on. You don't want to see me dance. Come on. You don't want to see me dance. We're going to do it. We're going to do I'll it. I'll break a hip. <laughs> OK. The Washington football team named former NFL player Jason Wright to be its new president, making him the league's first black team president. The announcement comes after the team removed its Redskins name and branding in reports of sexual harassment accusations by former employees this summer. Wright spent several years as a running back in the NFL, playing for the San Francisco 49ers, Atlanta Falcons, Cleveland Browns, and Arizona Cardinals. After retiring from the league, he went on to get his MBA and worked at global consulting firm McKinsey & Company. He said in a statement that the position is a, quote, ideal opportunity for me, end quote. So Sherry, obviously this is some progress. What are your thoughts? I'm really excited. The first black team president in the NFL, and they changed their name from the Redskins to the football team. So mm -hmm. great to see some progress. Yeah, absolutely. And he got the job on his merit. Most Definitely. Important. Very qualified. Kim K is trying to free rapper C Murder from prison. In 2002, C Murder, whose real name is Corey Miller, was found guilty of shooting a 16-year-old in a Louisiana club. He was sentenced to life in prison in August of 2009 and is currently still in the Louisiana State Penitentiary. Kardashian has been known to fight for criminal justice and prison reform. In 2018, she helped free Alice Marie Johnson, who was serving a life sentence for a first-time nonviolent drug offense. You know, it's awesome. People criticize her a lot, but it's great that someone with her influence is using her platform to for the Absolutely. greater good. Absolutely, and the Johnson case is, is amazing. I mean, someone shouldn't get life in prison for a first-time drug offense. Yes, and it was nonviolent too, so. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Thanks for joining Iblebits today for your quick five-minute news brief. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. I have, I have rhythm. <laughs> I just got to find it. <laughs> yeah.